Hi there, my name is Anne Logan and this is the I've Read This dot com YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a festive book. It's called Portrait of a Murderer, A Christmas Crime Story by Anne Meredith. So this book was originally published in 1933 and this edition is the 2018 re-release. It includes an introduction by Martin Edwards, who, if you're familiar with the mystery genre, that name will probably ring a bell. He's written extensively about mysteries. Um, I just ordered this huge, big book uh, where he basically takes apart different mysteries over the century. And um, it's really, really interesting hearing his thoughts on the genre as a whole. Whenever there, whenever I'm reading a classic book like this and there is a special introduction, I always read the intro last because a lot of times the introduction will include spoilers. That's for like Penguin classics, that sort of thing. So I always recommend reading the intro last, which I definitely did for this one. Um, so this is a book about a murder that takes place uh, on Christmas Day. So the book isn't really infused with the holidays throughout. It's really just that this murder happens on Christmas Day. Um, the victim is named Adrian Gray, and he is the patriarch of a large family with six adult children. Um, he, his body is discovered on Christmas Day. Every Christmas, he invites his kids to stay with him in, in his big house called King's Poplars. And... Um, his kids really don't like him. He's a kind of miserable old guy and they just come because they ask him for money all the time. Um, this isn't your typical mystery because you find out early on who the murderer is and why they murdered Adrian Gray. So you follow the plot along um, with the murderer, kind of waiting to see if they're gonna be discovered. And at one point, someone else is accused of the murder and that other person who's accused of the murder is also a really bad person. So there's this question of morality that runs throughout, you know, what kind of punishment fits the crime? What kind of crime deserves to be punished? Will these people be brought to justice? Um, it's really about the psychology of a murderer as well, you know, based on the title alone, Portrait of a Murderer, you're kind of exploring the psyche of a murderer and how murdering another human affects a person. The suspense from the book really comes from whether or not the murderer is going to be caught. So that's really what keeps the pages turning, is um, waiting to discover if you know, that's, this person is going to be brought to justice or not. Uh, another theme of the book would be uh, class and wealth. So um, this is a family that was, tip, that was in the past very, very wealthy. They've slowly lost bits of their wealth until it's actually revealed that Adrian Gray really didn't have very much money at all, which sort of shines a different light on his murder. Uh, as I mentioned before, so he has six adult uh, children and n none of them are very likable. Most of the characters in the book aren't very likable. There's a few who aren't, who aren't so bad or are sort of neutral, but I always find it really interesting when an author chooses to make all their characters really unlikable because there's, they run this risk that readers are not going to care about what happens to the characters, but that definitely wasn't the case in this book. I really cared about finding out if the murderer is going to be brought to justice. So I really enjoyed this read. Uh, another theme of the book would be the pursuit of beauty. One of the children is an artist and he's very poor. So of course he needs his money, money from his father to continue his lifestyle. But this is um, a source of judgment among the rest of his siblings is, you know, whether he should have pursued art or just gotten a regular job like they did and it's a source of resentment as well. So family judgment is, is another theme, how the children relate to one another as adults. There's this section in the book where they're all judging each other based on the gifts that they gave each other for Christmas. So um, lots of different themes that you can kind of sink your teeth into. Um, overall, just a warning, this isn't written like a book you know, nowadays would be, you really have to slow down, make sure that you're understanding the text and the diction that um, it was written in the time. You know, there's not a lot of twists and turns. It's really, um, it's more of a analysis of character development than anything. So just wanted to make sure everyone understands it's not your typical mystery, but it's still definitely a worthwhile read.
and it may not seem very Christmassy to read about murder <laughs> over the holidays, um, but it's a wonderful form of escapism and I highly recommend this book. So thanks so much for watching tonight, guys, and Happy New Year.